In this video, I'm going to tell you how you can create your own Performance Max video on Google Ads. Now, before we start, we have to finalize a landing page we are going to promote and I'm going to show you that and then we're going to move on it. So let's say we are going to promote the Shopify website development and e-commerce solution service over uh, Performance Max. Over here, you may see this is the website, okay and uh, over here i think that this is a free space which is not a good idea in a marketing strategy or marketing terms of service over here so this is how we are targeting okay i think that the simple page should have been shown as well let me refresh so all is clear over here okay So the samples are also being loaded so okay it's okay yeah so now we're going to promote it now we're going to move on to the campaigns over here from the campaign dashboard we're going to select the create campaign over here we're going to select the new campaign over here and uh, whatever our goal is you know it's almost available in everything so let's be going with the sales with sales after this you know our conversion goal which is add to cart you know but you can change your conversion goal as i have told you in other videos as well after this simply select the quantity over here and over here you may see that you have an option of performance max being shown over here uh, again the beauty of perform performance max is that with the help of google ai it automatically decides on where your ad to be shown or where your right customer is or the someone who is looking for for the product or service you are trying to sell so we're going to select the performance max over here after this performance max you can see over here you have to tell where people should go after clicking your ad so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this over here and i'm going to paste over here so after this uh, i'm going to name a campaign so for instance i'm going to name it over here shopify performance max demo okay so you can see over here i can uh, this is how i named it after this i can simply select the quantity over here So we can get started after this once i select the uh, continue i maybe move over here where i have an option of conversions and conversions value and i'm going to select conversions for now and if i have a target cost per action for now i can select over here which i wanted for instance i can only pay up to 100 dollar for each sales i can set my target cp over here so you may see over here that the google is also providing me with weekly estimates over here okay the unfortunate thing is that the target cpa do not work well unless and until you have some conversions on your account through the campaign so which is why i do not recommend to enable this because this is a fresh campaign once you have the campaign running once you got some conversions you can definitely select the target cost per action as well after this the customer acquisition strategy where you have an option on bid for new customers only for instance if you only want to bid new customers and if you do not want to show your ad to the people who have already visited your visited your website sometime somewhere or if they have visited your website or clicked on the ad single time and you do not want to show your ad uh, to them again you can uh, check this but i do not recommend you because it's a new campaign so it's not a good idea you can select the bid for new customers again when running the campaign and suddenly you see the conversions are dropping well you can do this as a strategy later on after this select the next over here and after this you're going to select your locations over here and again the thing is i can include exclude locations from over here for instance i uh, i want uh, my ad uh, not to be shown in charger but i want it to show in the whole united uh, uh, arab so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add uae over here as well as an include so now what's happening is that i'm targeting uae as a whole country but i do not i'm not targeting this province i'm just telling you as an example my weekly cost and my estimates are being over here as well after this uh, i can uh, i can do this advanced research as well and i can do the pinpoint location targeting or i can select the radius as well for instance if i wanted to target on a radius i'm gonna uh, write over here for instance, I'm going to target uh, in Qatar, so I'm going to move over here. You can see over here, I have selected by Qatar as a radius targeting. Again, I can uh, do a uh, 30 mile over here with Qatar or I can exclude uh, 30. Okay, I have targeted in not in the very radius, but uh, Qatar. I can select this one and you may see over here that it's now I'm targeting this 30 
miles kadar over here as well i can also do pin mode my targeting and i can select by targeting over here i can include over here i can do pin targeting for instance if i am moving on um saudia so i am going to go over here and i can do my pin targeting over here i can do my pin targeting over here i can select my regions based on this as well after i'm done with my settings of locations i can select my language to be shown or not so i can you know they are recommending me to add arabic because i'm targeting the arabic location but i'm only going with english for now and after this i have an option of yes this can be as eu political ads or not so i'm going to select no i'm targeting europe so which is why it's a kind of a disclaimer after this i can set my ads coaches over here and other settings i have also discussed on ad devices you can select or uh, you know uncheck on, on them after this i am moved on to the next part again if anything is left i can simply go back to campaign settings from over here and i can move on to more settings and i can set over here for instance if i wanted to start, set the start and end dates i can set over here if i wanted to have a campaign specific url for targeting i can select over here and uh, start date end date devices if i wanted to in, in, uh, exclude a brand if i wanted to do an age targeting or exclusion for any age i can select over here and i can select any age group which wait i do not want mat to be shown over here after this i'm going to go with the next over here so now with the uh, performance max campaign i need to create assets so what i'm going to do is i'm going to allow them to generate assets on their own i they have written the website which i have provided them now i'm going to select the generate assets so now they have determine our uh, business name over here for the logos you may see over here that the logo is being captured from the website you may see over here but in case if you do not have it over here you can always upload it over here by adding from it or you can mention from your website and it's automatically going to grab from them so minimum of one logo is required over here after this i'm going to select more options to see over here now this is the website asset you may see over here this is the website this is the headline now they have generated they have generated a lot so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select any as per my convenience because three are required so i'm going to select three whatever i like but 15 are recommended after this they have selected the headlines with one as required so this may fluctuate if i am having all of them you may see my descriptions over here they have generated my descriptions i can modify i can change as per whatever i like or whatever my team has suggested after this moving on to the images part so now you can select the image from over here so they have captured these images from the website but if i do not like it they have you know suggested me over here i can go to the asset library to see all of my images i can ask them to generate give a command of what kind of a image i want they can generate it if i'm going to pick it from the website i'm going to write over here like this or if i'm going to upload from my computer i can select this or i can select the free stock images and use either of the one as well by selecting this as well you may see over here if i'm going to save it it's automatically going to uh, take all of these uh, images in this as well you can see my campaign optimization score as well running right now or oh, after this if i have a video uh, i'm going to plus over here again the go good thing about this is that if i do not have a video it's automatically going to create a video in most cases now over here this is the capturing from my youtube channel because uh, i have linked it on my uh, google ads but uh, in case i want them to search a specific video they can uh, i can do it by writing my url over here or i can upload from a computer over here after this i can select my other side links over here other assets uh, call to action more options over here i can do my setting after this move on over here and i'm going to search my theme over here for instance if i wanted to add a search theme i'm going to right over here shopify web development over here okay after this i can give additional signals over here i can write my audience name over here and uh, i can select based on uh, my demographic i can select over here for see over here they have automatically find it like you can target shopify online store creation service 
ई कॉमर्स प्लेटफॉर्म ई कॉमर्स वेबसाइट डिवेलपमेंट डिजाइन ई शॉपिफाई थीम सो आई कैन सेलेक्ट सम ऑफ देम एज वेल फ्रॉम ओवर हेयर एंड माई डाटा इज कॉन्स्टेंटली बींग शोन ओवर हेयर विच हैज नाउ इक्रीज डिक्री इन द कॉस्ट पर कन्वर्जन हैज डिक्रीज आफ्टर माई टारगेटिंग सोफा अगेन आई कैन एड माई डेमोग्राफिक्स एज वेल मेल फीमेल एज ग्रुप एंड आफ्टर दिस I can name the audience, or if not, that I can move on to the next part. And the next part is about my budget selection. I can go with a custom budget. They have provided me with three options: twenty-three dollars, nine point five two dollars cost per conversion, twenty-nine, ten point six two cost per conversion, and over here the cost per conversion is also increasing. But the conversions are also increasing. So let's say I'm going with the lowest one, but again that is your personal preference. You can also set a custom budget as well. After this, move on to the next part. and the next part is uh, uh now google is checking for all of the errors on your campaign and now after this you know ev- everything is fine i'm simply going to publish the campaign over here and now you may see that uh, after i have selected the uh, published uh, campaign uh, it's going to link to my tagging and because the tagging is already connected with my uh, google ads account now my campaign has been created thank you for watching and good luck